Would you like a coffee? she asked. You don't know how good that sounds. That'd be just great. Do you want sugar? I'm willing to take whatever's going. I'm just grateful you found me. I have to warn you, though, I do make it strong. <laughs> to be honest, I think that's what I need. It might help me to focus on how I got here. As I sat outside and looked around, taking in my surroundings for the first time without feeling the dread and hopelessness in my heart, I began to notice how beautiful it was. I had always loved the woods and had never felt comfortable in big cities, which was strange because before she had found me, I was starting to get stressed out. It also dawned on me that I didn't know her name. <laughs> Sorry, I shouted into the cabin. I must appear really ignorant and ill-mannered, but... I don't even know your name. No, Sully. You pronounce it no, Sully, she said in a soft voice as she stood beside me with two cups of hot coffee in her hands. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to shout. It's okay. This must be all a bit strange to you. So you say you have no idea how you got here? Yeah, I just woke up and, well, the rest you know. Are the jeans okay? Yes. Great, thanks. <laughs> In fact, I, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're a perfect fit. I suddenly realised that I hadn't even told my saviour who I was. My name is Alex, by the way. <laughs>